They call themselves Los Indignados, the indignant. Young protesters have been camping out in Granada's town hall square for weeks now. It's the same story in many cities across Spain. Young Spaniards are frustrated by their country's ongoing economic troubles and the debt crisis. My family and everyone here in Spain are in debt. I'm not because I didn't want to get tied up. People simply invested too much in real estate. There's no investment in research and development, no jobs are being created. The only thing happening is speculation. Banks and businesses are turning huge profits, but there are no prospects for us. Outside the city, the situation is even worse. The jobless rate in the village of Zagra in Andalusia has hit a record high, with about 80 percent of people unemployed. Francisco Quintana is among those out of work. He used to be a crane operator, but demand for his services has plummeted as the construction market has ground to a virtual halt. Social welfare benefits in Spain are meager, and long-term unemployed are no longer receiving government help. In Zagreb, people are picking up odd jobs to make ends meet and growing their own vegetables. A lot is based on the barter system. A neighbor gives you a few kilos of tomatoes or eggplant. You give him melons or figs from your garden. We're helping each other out. But when it comes to paying off home loans, fruit and vegetables don't cut it. Private households in the country currently hold a mountain of debt, some 1.8 trillion euros. Many residents in Zagra also owe money. How are you supposed to pay off your monthly loans? With the little bit you make farming or with unemployment benefits? That's a huge burden for people. Debt is the main problem. The region's only big employer is a local asparagus seller. Before the financial crisis hit Spain, workers from Romania and Morocco came here to fill low-wage jobs. Now it's mostly Spanish women who work here for seven euros an hour. Asparagus season lasts just three months. After that, the women will have to figure out what to do. Either they'll look for a job in the hotel industry, or they'll go to other regions, or even abroad for work. Some 250 young people have left Zagra over the past two years. A lost generation.